Welcome back. So if you're, uh, thanks for coming back anyway. Uh, so if you're still interested in, in these uh, little short videos, that's cool. It's glad you're here. Um, so, you know, my last video I have, I talked about the truth tables for the and, and, nor, and, or, and how I remember um, how to how to do them regardless of whatever uh, the inputs are. But I also brought up about design and I talked about um, a way of remembering or being able to utilize chips that you have, or components, not components, well, the chips, if you haven't used all the gates inside of a chip, um, let's say you have, you use three AND gates and you needed a NAND gate and you have some extra uh, NOT gates, which are hex inverters, um, which are what these are right here, which I did not cover, but this is just a NOT gate. So there's typically um, a few of them inside of a chip. It depends on what, what chip you have. Um, you, could all, you could use them to make, if you have an AND gate, an extra AND gate and you need an AND gate, you could just wire it up to this hex inverter and have yourself a NAND gate, you know, just a little simple, uh, throw an AND here. And you just basically connect these two, two spots right here. And now you have yourself a NAND gate. Um, so a way to look at that though, is if you have extra components where you can do this with basically any one of these and a hex inverter. Uh, so I'm just going to draw these out. The AND gates and the NANDs. There's an OR and your NOR gate. So this is your NOR. This is your OR. Your NAND. And your AND gate. So the way, um, if you need to utilize chips and stuff, here's kind of a way I, I remembered uh, doing it. So you have your AND and your NAND. OR and your NOR. So if we invert the output of an AND gate, you get a NOR gate or a NAND gate. And if you invert the output of an OR gate, you get a NOR gate. It's kind of shown here with your actual symbols. You can see that. Um, now, if you invert the input of an AND gate, your inputs, you'll get a NOR gate and vice versa. So, and your NAND and your OR. So, uh, we can go through and, and I can draw out a truth table is kind of the, to show you this. So, utilizing our little table here, let's say we have an AND gate. There's our AND, and now we're just going to invert the input of both of these. Now, mind you, these are when both of them are being inverted, so it's going to change it, just invert one. So now, what I'm saying here is if I, in, if I invert the input of the AND gate, I'm supposed to get a NOR gate. So if we go to our truth table, a NOR gate is a one, any one in, gives me a zero out. So let's see if this is true here, utilizing the AND function. Now mind you, when we're doing this, we have A and B, our output is Y. So here's A and B. Technically these, I should be looking at them from this perspective. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one, my Y outputs. Now mind you, I'm going by the property of the AND, so any zero in is zero out. Now mind you, if I go with zeros, if these are zeros right here, and on this side, it's gonna be ones. So on an AND gate, any zero ends is zero out, right? So if I have both of these as one, then my output is gonna be a one. So, but I'm putting in zeros, so this should be a one. So now I'm gonna put a zero here and a one here, and it's going to be the complete opposite. But again, any zero in is supposed to be a zero out. Right? So we have a zero here. And again, that's going to be the same here. Now here's where it looks to be confusing. I have a one and a one, but I actually have two zeros. So that means my output's going to be a zero. 
So if we go and we look at an actual NOR gate, any one in is a zero out. Well, what do we have here? Any one in is a zero out. So now we have effectively used an AND gate, inverting its inputs, and created an, a NOR. So that's just one representation of that. I, I don't want to really go through the rest of them. If you want to sit down with it, you can you can sit down and draw that out. And and it's this little uh, little drawing here should help you out. And so, well, I hope you learn something from this and maybe can take uh, and use it in the future. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you don't, dislike. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave it in the comments. I will get back to you on it. And if you have any suggestions, leave those in the comments as well. Um, what, what would you guys like to see? And if you leave those in the comments as well. So uh, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in another one. Thanks.